Right team, welcome to the video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn about how you can lose fat and have great fashion sense, then make sure you hit the subscribe button because I can provide that all for you. I do have a goal to eventually step on the catwalking stage. Ideally just wearing lycra and fluorescent colours. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? I'm taking you through a full day of eating today. I've just done my morning um, cardio stuff, which took about 40 minutes, so I'm about to go outside now. And it's raining. I'm going to do a series of like pull-ups, dips, and uh, probably some strict overhead presses. I was going to try thrusters, but I'm still a bit apprehensive with my calf, because like psychologically I think it's uh, playing on my mind a bit, so I'm going to leave that to a few days' time. First thing I'm eating, though, before I go out there... Pants is this Fiber One protein bar, 87 calories, caramel flavor, and you get 10 grams of protein, they're absolutely insane. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Did you see the little caramelly bits? Tastes amazing, man. Sorry, I'm a little bit sweaty, so I apologize if I do smell. I'm gonna have this now, and then it's time to get on with my training, and I'm meeting a mate later for a walk, probably in the rain. The time is now 11.07 on Saturday the 20th, 30th of January. About eight days, nine days before my birthday. It's a bit misty out here. I've just finished my set eight of a pull up, so I'm doing weighted. It's about six kilograms, I think, in here. And I'm managing to cover the pull-up bar with the towel because it's raining a bit. It does a very good job of keeping it dry. I'm a little bit hungry, so uh, I've got some summer fruits. It's sparkling water. I think it's about 10 calories for the whole litre. And then I'm having a pack of Sainsbury's chocolate corn thins whilst uh, I have my rest times. I'm just a bit hungry. precisely on Saturday 30th of Jan just been out with my mate and we walked around like the perimeter of the area and visited some other places to have a look at the houses because that's all you really can do during lockdown I had a black coffee and I had one of these bad boys I think they're originally from the Netherlands lovely waffle um, with caramel in it but I'm not sure exactly how they make them I believe it was probably about 100 ish calories I'll know the exact calories when I check them now I'm having another Fiber Juan carrot cake bar. It's 87 calories. I'm not sponsored by Fiber One, but I just, uh, and they're on offer recently, so we've got quite a few in the house, and uh, they're pretty nice. This is the carrot cake flavor. So uh, if you see there, carrot cake on the inside, then I don't know what's um, between the topping and the actual cake itself. It's like some marzipan kind of thing. A few walnuts on top. Tastes absolutely delicious. Mm -mm. 90 calories in total, 11 grams of carbs, 1.1 gram of protein, 6 grams of fiber, flip. And the fiber one bar earlier, the caramel one, was 10 grams of protein for 90, what, well, 87 calories, pretty good. But now, it's time for a monstrous lunch. I'm going to show you the creation once it has been made. <laughs> Donna saying hello. Cool, starting to get really windy outside. Don't you just love a mini Volkswagen? Anyway, in this meal, we haven't quite finished it yet. It's nearly five o'clock, and here is what I have got. It would be cool if I could get a bowl at least four times the size of this to have an even bigger couscous concoction. I've got 150 grams of couscous weighed out dry. So that comes to roughly 375 calories. 200 grams of tomatoes, 40 calories. 
and 150 grams of chicken breast slices. 150 grams of chicken breast slices, which comes to 180 calories and approximately 35-ish grams of protein. Then I'm gonna add some Waitrose cheese on top, mix it all up. Oh, there's also an egg in there. Then once I've heated up in the microwave for seven minutes, chuck on the cheese and then have tomato sauce on top. Slightly switching up today, I'm having Sainsbury's milk chocolate on the side. Three strips, which is about 315 calories, rather than little, so slightly change it up. I'm having this, and then I'm gonna bring you back for when I have a snack. Sometimes you just gotta lay on the floor. <clears throat> oh. Why is stretching so nice? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Alright team, the time is 20 to 10 and uh, here I'm about to try and complete for research purposes only. Yes, they are extracting a bit of my DNA because they do think I'm part alien, part antelope and part human. Jokes is the coronavirus antibody test. They got in touch with me, um, Department of Health and Social Care, and then they sent me this kit. It's to see if I'm immune or if I've got immunity to COVID. So I'm going to do this now and uh, let you know how I get on. <laughs> We are now into the next day, it's Sunday, I've just come back from church and uh, I took a route home which is by a green and a golf course which is really nice but it was quite muddy. Down here these shoes were caked in mud, I've done a pretty good job of cleaning them but yeah they're not going to be usable for the next few days because of how wet they are. I filmed what I ate for dinner and what I had for dessert but as you guys probably have guessed I fell asleep on the sofa for a good few hours. Um, between like 12 and 3 a.m. But I got up and had dessert after my sleep and I filmed it all for you. So I'm gonna have it up on the screen, explain what I had. The dinner, we had a stone-baked pizza. I had the pepperoni one, but there was also a vegetable one um, that we got. And it's different because it's not in a uh, cardboard pack. They actually bake it on the site of Saints, which was really cool. Had that with veg on the side, a little bit of chicken for extra protein and some potatoes with the essential tomato ketchup, not this ketchup mayo mix, whatever they call it, mayo ketchup or... I think somebody told me it's called KNAs or something, I'd... It's gotta be just ketchup every time. Then for dessert, I'm gonna show you where we store it, but I had toffee, um, cheesecake, then on the side are mixtures of different cakes um, with vanilla ice cream. Then I also had an apple pie with a little bit of um, ice cream as well. You might be wondering, how on earth can I fit all of that stuff into my diet? And I do have a dessert at the end of the day, which is where I have quite a lot of sugary stuff and stuff I enjoy because I can't have 4,850-ish calories with just clean food. I'll be bloated the whole time. 70 to 80% of the time, I have lean protein sources, complex carbohydrates, and my fruit and vegetables. And then 20 to 30% of the time, the stuff I like to um, enjoy. I mean, enjoy everything I eat, but the sweet stuff. If you want to check out this day of eating, I've actually um, laid out in the... YouTube description, everything I eat, how many macronutrients I have in the day, so you can get a true representation of what I eat day to day. Give you a quick update on the Diet Coke situation. Uh, I believe we've probably got over 200 cans now. I mean, I have no idea why um, we keep stocking up on these. We don't actually need to, but hey ho. Then in uh, the fridge, this is where we keep the toffee cheesecakes. I have my little stash up there. Actually, this garage fridge is where we keep a lot of the healthier stuff, but I keep my cakes more in the other room, but toffee cheesecakes live up there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.